hello this is Frida welcome to my channel today I'm going to show you a new stitch uh, actually I just saw the stitch just over a month ago so I'm going to be doing a scarf for the homeless with that stitch and I'm going to be using the Caron anniversary cake which I bought and I think there's enough yarn to make a scarf out of this okay so the crochet hook I did do a yarn unboxing and I'm going to be using my prime uh, crochet hook with a number nine um, millimeter I'm going to be chaining total of uh, 20 chains with this crochet hook and uh, I've been working with the number seven and with the eight and I just love it and I'm going to switch it back to number um, eight because uh, I want the chain to be loose enough and I'm only going to be chaining total of uh, 20 chains okay so here we go as loose as I can because the yarn is a bulky five two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, and I'll just chain two more just in case. Okay, well, maybe three, total of three, so 23. And I'm going to be switching to my number. Um, oh, it doesn't say the numbers on, oh, here it is. Here is the number eight, you can see it. So on the second, I'm going to be ch doing single crochets on each chain. And after that, we're going to be, actually, we need to crochet two rows. I believe it was two rows. This stitch, uh, when I first saw it, I thought it was a knit stitch because I do knit this stitch. So this is going to be the version of the crochet stitch. And I can't remember the name of this stitch. Uh, in Turkish, it's called Ishkambe Erni. Uh, Ishkambe means uh, stomach, I believe, when you translate it. It's, it's, sometimes it comes out awkward. <laughs> but... Uh, yeah, uh, in English, I really don't know. I think it's one of the uh, Bureau uh, Stitches family. But I uh, can't just remember the name offhand. offhand. But uh, yeah, it is the same version of uh, Knit Stitch. Okay, so I'm going to chain one. And then even I used a bigger crochet hook. Can you see it? I had to pull it a little bit because of the, yeah. Okay, so I am doing single crochets on each stitch and I'll try to go as fast as I can. It's a very easy stitch. It's just a repeat stitch. Just like the single crochets so this is going to be my 17th scarf for the homeless for 2021 and uh, that's how I do it I, I used to do dishcloth and then I thought well I gave away of I think I had 10 or 20 dishcloth some uh, uh, this lady was collecting for her mother's uh, anniversary and uh, so I donated to her I think it was 10 or 20 I'm not quite sure and then I started doing the scarves for the homeless so I am still showing the stitches and then um, while I'm showing stitches I am uh, making scarves so one single crochet so what we're going to do on next one you usually go in here right but we're not going to do that so we're going to jump one row two row right here can you see right here here try to crochet as loose as you can and pull it and then make a single crochet okay i think we need to tighten this a little bit because this is pretty loose 
So we don't come here because we already did a single crochet. We jump here. So two where the chain where we did the chain that's where we poke and then we make a single crochet okay so we don't do anything here because we already worked here so we go to the next chain and then we make a single crochet and then we repeat this so one two right here we make a single crochet but two uh, on the chain we did so we're skipping and then we come here, we don't do here. If we make a single crochet here, it will be an increase, so we don't want that. So, one, two, not here, but here, and then we pull it, and then we go to the next one. Okay. It's so easy, especially for big, if you're new. I would highly recommend okay so we don't come here we come here we just right jump in here and I really like these crochet hooks I would highly recommend because the edge is uh, pointy and it goes in nicely okay and then we make a single crochet and then here one two and then right here it just goes in nicely even it's a uh, number eight what did I do? I did a half double crochet. We don't, we're not supposed to do that half double crochet. So it's supposed to be a single crochet. Okay, just to be uh, cautious. I just wanted to show you. Sometimes people say, oh, you make lots of mistakes. No, I do that on purpose for you guys to see the difference. So just be cautious. One, two, and then you can fix it very easily. Okay. Make a single crochet. And then one. Right here, this is how it looks like. Just wanted to show you my uh, other crochet hook. I, I I can't use this. If you look at it, see it's not pointy as this. This is really hard to go in. Just to sh wanted to show you the comparison. Okay, so. And then you jump right here. See, it, it gives me a hard time going in. And this is heavy compared to the rhyme. I think that's how you pronounce it. It's uh, B R Y M, brim or brime, whichever you pr pronounce it. Okay. We started with a single crochet at the beginning, so we're going to finish it with a single crochet. Oh, I didn't count how many stitches we have. I know I re remember I chained 23, but uh, yeah. It's 10, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. So you need an odd number. There's 21 stitches here. You need an odd number. Okay, we're going to chain one, turn our work. Okay, and then we're just going to do our regular here. And on here, what we're going to do is we're going to grab, um, actually, we're going to do two single crochet. Okay, don't forget this hole. We're going to be jumping in this hole when we do the next Vs. So that's how the hole, this hole gets bigger. When I tell you to go into that hole, it's this hole. <laughs> Okay, so on this next one, what we're going to do is we're going to grab one leg of the V and the other leg of the other V, like this, and then we're going to pull it. Ta-da! See what we did? <laughs> it's magical! Okay, and then we make our single crochet, and then we create this hole. Okay, and then we're going to repeat it. So we come here, grab one of the leg of the V and the other leg, and we pull at once just like this see and then we continue and then you will see these holes 
that we're going to be making these. We're going to be going into those. Remember, we skipped all the way here. So that's what we're going to be doing later on. Okay. So we're going to repeat this all the way to the end. Grab the leg. Pull. Pull. You will notice that your single crochets are twisting. If you don't like that, you can you can work it out. Like a single crochet. What which what I mean is what you can do is what you can do is you can pull this and then fix it and then you will have a Okay, single crochet. And grab the legs, one of each, and then pull. Again, single crochet. Just like this. See how fun it is? Okay, so single crochet. I'm just going to grab some water. I don't want to pause the video because uh, last time I paused it, the sound was gone. So I'm kind of hesitate to pause and I don't have my other camera with me. So, uh, yeah, fortunately I have to be. So we started with two single crochets and then we're going to be ending with uh, two single crochets. Okay, now chain one, turn our work, and this is how it will look like, and this is how it will look like. You can make anything with this. I'm making a scarf. You can make baby blankets. Uh, the fabric will be a little bit thick because the use uh, crocheting with single crochets. Okay, so we're gonna do what we're going to do is remember we did one single crochet and then we we did this part. But this time, we're just going to do it right away. To do that right away, we're, you can see the hole, right? So uh, we're going to jump into that. And then we're going to pull a little bit loose, but not that much loose. And then on the next one, we're going to make a single crochet. This is how easy and simple it is. Okay. See? We're going to repeat this. We're going to come in between here. Now those little holes are, are is, is going to be uh, showing where to go in. See, right here. And the next one, we're going to be going into those holes. So uh, just to show you, then the next one is here. Oh, this is too loose. Yeah, try not to make it that loose. It's too much. And then go and make a single crochet on the next one. So, oh, I think I did it wrong. I was supposed to be coming here. Now let me fix that. I went to the wrong hole. Yeah, it was to this because it was too close. Well, uh, then it was close to here. Well, no, I am right. If I come here, then it will be underneath this, right? So, uh, yeah, so we're going to be going one and then two and then underneath so that is correct yeah so we just go in here uh, just uh, be cautious where you go in try not to make increases we don't want that so here we're supposed to do a single crochet but we skip two and then we come right here this one so we skip two rows. Again, skip two, and this would be this. See, this is the back, and this is the front. See how it looks? Wow, it, get, it makes beautiful texture, doesn't it? I just love it. Oh my goodness. You can uh, work with a variegated yarn. Sorry, I just needed to grab some water. 
my throat got throat. See, when I pause it, you don't hear these uh, sounds. <laughs> so look how easy it is. Wow. Okay, so the next one I'm going to be jumping here. Oops. So it's like a two row repeat, but on the fourth and the two row repeat on the third and the fourth, we change around. Okay, come here. So what we do is we go between the V. Can you see? So we go between the V when we poke our crochet hook. So that's another way you can see if you're going in the wrong way. Let me show you one more time. So what you do when you poke your crochet hook, you will go between the V right there, see? So that's when you know you're in the right direction. If you're not quite sure, what you do is Poke your crochet hook right in the middle like that. And then you pull it. Right in the V, right in the V between. That's another way for you to see. Yeah. I started with the V, but I'm not ending with the V. Did I do something wrong? I'm just double checking. Oh, I see. I still have, have to make another one. Sorry. So don't get confused. I still have to make the single crochet. On this last one, I go in between. Just like this. And try to, because it's the last one, right? That's how we started. So, and this is how it like the kind of, uh, so chain one, turn your work, and then what we do is we do a single crochet, and then we grab these two legs, and then we pull them at once, single crochet. So we're re just repeating row two, well, the row two of the stitch the pattern that we started don't count the two rows of single crochets we did that was just the beginning but other than that it's just a, like i said repeat of row and these are the holes that we're going to go in the next uh yeah hmm. Okay, so this is all to it. So it's just a repeat. So the single crochets are in the between the V's and then we grab the two legs. See how it looks? Oh my goodness. I just can't believe how like I said, you can use variegated yarn, but the the, the fabric is uh, very thick, just to point out, just to give you an idea. So uh, working this uh, stitch, this would be perfect for winter baby blankets, yeah? If you want to make a, a blanket for a baby, yeah, the fabric is uh, pretty thick, so nice. So I grab the last one and I'm done. So 
So I chain one, I turn my work, and I repeat this first one how we did it. Remember, we did two single crochets. Now, this is going to be open, though I don't like it. What I'll do is just go like this. Do a slip stitch. And what I'll do is I'll make two single crochets how we started. This way the fabric will be nice and even. Okay. So how we started this one, we did two single uh, crochets. And then what we did is we did. So to do my V, I find my hole here. And I go there, right in there. Like I am those. Oh, one, two, actually. So I'm coming here, right here. And when I look, it's between the V. Can you see the V? So I pull it. And see how it looks? So I come here. I'm skipping two rows. And then I'm just going in between that V automatically. So I make my one single crochet. And uh, I try to find the hole, which the hole is right in between those V's that we made. And then we pull. See how easy it is? You won't get lost at all. Just turn your work. And then you go in between the V. So again, so I hope you like this tutorial. If the video shuts down, that means my membrane card is done. Don't have room yet left. But uh, this is all to it. I will continue crocheting. But other than that, it's so simple and the texture is fantastic. See how it looks? One of the legs went. I should have. I should have been. See how I made a mistake? Always look at the back. See, I should have uh, pulled it right here in between. So uh, that happens. But other than that, this is how it looks like from the back. Yeah. In between, yeah. If if we get disconnected, uh, I'm just gonna say thank you very much. Thank you very much for watching my tutorials, and uh, keep on. Stay tuned and keep on watching, and happy crocheting. Now, this is really fun. Look, I really like the end result. How it looks like.